y'all. Hey, it's Team Tuesday, and we're going to talk about ways to sell your jewelry without going live. So first, let me give this disclaimer. Selling your jewelry live is the fastest way to reach the most amount of people. You can meet people that you've never met, right? Live videos gives you access to people outside of your immediate network in order to introduce them to you, your sales, and your product. So don't give up on the lives, but here are some other ways that you can also sell your jewelry. Number nine, selfies. Selfies help you sell your jewelry because somehow magically, when people see you in the pieces, all of a sudden, they want those pieces that you have on. It's because you're putting your, your stank on it, as Tyronica says, right? You're showing them how to wear those pieces in ways that they probably didn't imagine just seeing a picture of the piece or um, seeing, the pic seeing the piece posted somewhere. So take your selfies, show how you put the jewelry with your outfits and post it. That will sell your jewelry. Number eight, messenger parties. I love messenger parties because it's an awesome way to get a group of people together in one thread. You want to make sure that whoever's in the thread wants to be there. Don't be a uh, Rambo and just adding all these people into the thread that didn't ask to be there because you will see a mass exodus of people leaving your messenger party. But basically what it is, it's a Facebook messenger thread. You can also use Instagram. Instagram will allow you to create groups and have a thread in there as well. But you're just showing pictures of the pieces you have or pieces that are available in on in our replicated website. And um, it gives people the opportunity to purchase those pieces. You also want to make sure that you're giving information about paparazzi and sharing the opportunity there while you have everyone's attention. So that's number eight, messenger parties. Number seven, album parties. So basically what an album is, is a collection of photographs together in one group. It's different from a wall drop, which we'll talk about next, because all the pictures are together in an album. You can present the album in your VIP group, on your business page, or on your profile page. One thing about everything that I'm going to tell you today, you want to be consistent with it. And so if you're going to drop albums, you want to Pick a specific day and time weekly to drop those albums for the sales so that your customers know when to show up and when to look for them. Number six, wall drops. So unlike albums, which is a collection of pictures, wall drops are individual pictures dropped one at a time uh, throughout the day so that your customers can comment on the pictures that they, on the pieces that they want. And so it kind of builds up some some suspense to allow them to see, ooh, what's going to come next. And so you want to space it out about an hour to, I'm sorry, 30 minutes to an hour apart in between each picture. You don't want to drop them back to back to back right behind each other. I wouldn't drop more than 10 in a day. Some people drop more, some people drop less, but it's definitely a, an, an alternative to going live. Once again, this is something that when you do do it, you want to make sure that you're doing it consistently. And so picking a day and a time like Wall Drop Wednesday, for example, is good to have your customers, um, to have an expectation from your customers. They know when to look for you. Number five, pre-recorded flash sales. So all you do with this is lay your pieces out on a table, give each piece a number, Take your camera and span across each piece slowly, describing it, saying the number, and telling your customers to comment which numbers that they want. You can also place the numbers on a pegboard with, with numbers so that they can see them hanging. You can also display them on a neck bus. If you don't have neck bus, it's okay. Just lay them out on a table, give them a number, go across each one slowly, and that's a pre-recorded flash sale. Now remember, it's a flash. Okay, so it's supposed to be short. Number four, your bling bag. Your bling bag is your buddy. Your bling bag should be everywhere you are like Visa. Every time you go out, you need your mask and your bling bag because what your bling bag is gonna do, she's gonna wink and smile at people across the room and say, hey, I got that $5 holla. 
Come on over here. Your bling bag is going to talk to people that you wouldn't even think about talking to. It's a conversation starter. People cannot believe the jewelry is $5 and you're a walking billboard for your business. So definitely you want to have a bling bag and also take it every, and I do me everywhere you go. Number three, link parties. A link party is when you go in the back office, create a link to party and allow customers to shop the link. Now, why would you create a link versus just sending them to your replicated site? Well, if you have a hostess, you want the hostess rewards to count towards that hostess. Now, if you don't have a hostess, you wanna just send out the link to your replicated site, you most certainly can do so. Also, if you have a web store, which we're gonna talk about next, you can do a link party with that also and have customers just shop your web store. Link parties are convenient for schedule conflicts. Sometimes the hostess does not have the same availability that you do, and so it's difficult to pin down a date and time to party, to do a messenger party or a Facebook party or any other things. But they can shoot out the link via text or Facebook messenger to their family and friends. You rack up on products sold and the hostess racks up on hostess rewards. So it's a win-win situation. So that's link parties. Also in the description, I have attached the uh, instructions as to how to create a link in the back office from our resident dorks. So check that out. Number two, a web store. Now, I know some of you are like, why in the world would I want two websites? Especially when paparazzi gave me one for free when I joined. Yes, paparazzi gave you a free website when you joined. It's an awesome website that you don't have to do anything with except collect your coins. Correct. But it's also jewelry that is available to everybody who has a consultant number. A web store is a collection of your inventory, your on-hand inventory that you are trying to sell. So a web store will allow you to basically make money in your sleep because people won't have to ask, wait for you to respond when they ask, hey, do you have this piece? Or hey, how many of these do you have? They can just go to your web store, shop, and you wake up, see the order, fulfill the order, collect your money. So a web store, number two. And the number one way, and it's not necessarily the number one way, it's just the last way I'm going to discuss today, to sell your jewelry without going live is in your stories. Uh, Facebook allows stories, Instagram allows stories. And it. what I love about stories is when you post pieces there, sometimes when you post them on your profile page or your business page, or your um, your VIP group. Sometimes people are private shoppers and they don't want people necessarily, necessarily to know what they're purchasing. But when they purchase from your story, it's between you and them because that message goes straight into your inbox when they tell you, oh, I want that. They may not necessarily say it, for the world wide web to see but that private message between you and them guess what you have just become their personal shopper accept the role so but if you don't have any jewelry in your stories you can't sell any jewelry in your story so number one stories the fact of the matter is we've all heard more than once the jewelry sells itself and yes the jewelry does sell itself but let me tell you what the jewelry does not do. Show itself. So if you show it, it will sell. And if you're just saying to yourself, oh, I can't sell this jewelry because I can't go live. I just gave you nine other ways to try. And who's to say if you're going live that you can't try these nine other ways? Try everything, but you have to put it out there. If you're just sitting on the jewelry, not showing it, it's not going to sell. So I challenge you, show the jury girl, show the jury boy, it will sell. That's all for now. See you next week for Team Tuesday. As always, continue to hustle hard.